guys so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cute and easy macrame coaster with two accent colors so yeah if you want to learn how to make it then just keep watching so the supplies that you will need is a piece of cardboard or cork board and a push pin to hold it in place that's optional but it really helped me so that it didn't wobble around you will also need a crochet hook, scissors, a comb, and any color macrame cord of your choice. So I added the measurements for all of the strings on the screen so you can refer to that. But I started with the longest string that is 98 inches long and I just folded it in half. And then next, I took that little piece of cardboard and pinned it to that so that it would stay in place. And then I added my five strings on there by creating a lark's head knot. I used three white strings and two in color. So I added a total of five strings. And I wanted to do two accent colors instead of one, so I used one blue one and one green one and if you're wondering why my strings look a little bit weird it's because i unraveled it otherwise the cord would be really thick but it ended up working out so yeah you couldn't even tell once i started doing the knots i think the blue and green cord that i got was a different brand than the white cord so that's why it looks a little bit different. But next, I just took the other end of the macrame cord and pulled it through the loop. And then I just tightened it all the way. I ended up having to get a different push pin because that one kept falling out so you want to start by taking your longest string and it's going to be that really long white string that we added all of the cords onto and that's going to be your working string next i just started by creating a double half hitch so i just wrapped the string around twice on each string to complete the knot so I started with the green first and I just worked my way around the whole circle for the first round So when I got back to the start again, I added on my first 31 inch string in the color green. And I just did that by creating a lark's head knot onto the working string, which is the longest one that you're working with. And then I just continued to do the double half hitch for a little more. And when I came to another gap, then I added on another 31 inch string in the color blue. And then I continued again for a little while once I came to another gap and then I added another 31 inch string in white. And I will put on the screen when I add the strings on so that you'll know. I don't know if there's a certain pattern to this, but this is just what I did whenever I came to 
a spot where there was like an open space, then I would add on another string again. Once you've finished adding all of your 31 inch strings on, then for the next round, you're just going to continue doing the double half hitch all the way around the circle until you're at the place where you started again. So I actually went a little bit farther from where I started. I started right at the green part, but once I came to a gap, I then added on a 29 inch string and then I continued a little bit more until I came to another gap and added on a blue 29 inch string. And I ended up having to add on another blue one right at the end and I just continued going around the whole circle until I came to a place where there were certain gaps and I added on the rest of my 29 inch strings. Once you've completed adding all of the 29 inch strings on, then for the last round, you're just going to complete the full circle by just creating double half hitch knots all the way around. And I did six rows, as you can tell, starting from the middle to the very edge. I kind of measured it by putting a cup in the center and I just felt that six rows was good enough for me.
So once you've completed your very last knot, I would recommend tucking that longest string in the back first, but instead I just decided to cut all of the ends off to the length that I wanted it to be. But yeah, I should have tucked it in first, but it doesn't really matter. So I just took the comb and I started by making the fringe and I ended up cutting it even shorter at the end because it was still too long but next for some reason i decided to do this after i already brushed it out but i just took that working string that was the longest even though it's short now i was still able to tuck it in the back so you wouldn't be able to see it and i just did that by taking my crochet hook and i just wove it through the loops And then I just cut off the ends a little bit more to my liking and it's finished. I really like how it turned out. It goes with my room perfectly since I have a beach themed room. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and try it out for yourself. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!